I didn't start out to begin a spiritual discipline. I kind of realized I was in the middle of one as a result of trying to learn how to take better pictures. I set out to take one photograph a day and to post it. I had been appointed to a little country church, and the county fair was very important to people here, and there was an expectation that the pastor would do something to enter in the county fair. About the same time, I was given a nice camera, and I'd always been interested in photography, but my pictures would always turn out fuzzy and blurry. So the desire to learn how to take a decent picture is kind of what started things. I would look for something beautiful or terrible or something unique or ubiquitous in every day. I had a, a lot of photographs of the sky, the stars and the moon, landscapes, field lights, animals, and candid portraits. My church has a bell tower, and I was able to see the day moon right through the bell tower. That's a favorite. And there's another one, a landscape. When I was on top of the Blue Ridge Parkway, the fog is filling the valleys below. It was a very wet year, and there were always lots of mushrooms. And I discovered that if I placed the camera just right, I could put really interesting things beside mushrooms. I took a picture at a Mennonite wedding, friends of the bride and groom, and I was just real pleased with how that picture turned out. Taking this time, I realized turned out to be a very prayerful experience, that when I began each day hoping to see something beautiful, that in a way I was inviting God to be present with me in this process. I would recommend that everybody find something to do each day as a spiritual discipline and to realize that most days are not going to feel inspirational. For me, when the inspiration came, it's after it was done or looking back at what I had done the previous month or the previous quarter, that the sense of wonder and gratitude came to be with it. God had always been present, and just by me taking the time to realize that God was already there in that gave me a sense of assurance of God's presence and comfort that energized, I think, everything I did during that year.